Okay guys, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube using Cube Explorer and a webcam. So what you're going to do is go to download, and then you're going to download Cube Explorer, um, the latest version, and you just put it for mine. And it works on Windows 98 to Vista, 32 and 64 bit. So after you've downloaded it, you're going to extract the files to anywhere you want. I extracted it to the desktop and made a folder for it. Next, you're going to double click Q464, and yours might differ from mine. Mine says 464 because the version is 4.64. The one with the picture of the Rubik's Cube is pretty much the one you want to click. And make sure you also extract NM Cube. After that, you're going to go position your webcam so that it's in a place that it can capture the cube in a flat position. After that, you're going to go to the webcam tab, click capture devices, click down on the arrow, click choose your webcam or your regular camera, and you should get a window up here. And then just line your Rubik's Cube in the correct spot. And first you want to do is get the orange sides, and as you can see, all the oranges should be about a question mark or yellow so you know right click on the question mark and choose orange or red and if you only have one red sample switch over to another side And you can go ahead and keep finding some more to help a little bit even more. Uh, and after it's got the correct colors, you can go ahead and uh, if you see that one of them's flickering and it's not orange or red, it's like green. You're gonna go click back over here and click a recognition mode automatic, click saturation or sat, and try to set the green to as close as possible. And round it up. And now you can see that it knows that it's green. After that, you're gonna scan the side. Oops, it's not right. Back. Scan the side and then turn it 90 degrees like this so that it's now on the left side. I'm going to make this orange. Scan the front face and now the right face. And you may have to move the cube around a little bit to get the correct color and now the right face the up face for you so like this is the top of the cube you're going to scan this part and this is a red piece this is an orange piece Okay. There we go. This is not green. Go back to automatic mode. Still think that it's blue. Sometimes you gotta do some random numbers and I'll finally get there. Scan the up face. Now 180 degrees to the down face. Orange, red, orange, okay. And now it should be done. You can put this out of the way. 
then just click solve scan cube and over here you can click add and solve and if you get this that means that you did not do the cube correctly and you can see that there's some grayed out spots that because those spots are not possible so if you get that you're gonna want to rescan the cube and um, I did that on purpose so that you guys could know and to clear it just click clear and redo everything all over again and I'm gonna do this while I pause so it won't take too long okay so once you finish scanning the cube you're gonna go okay guys don't click um, generator or solver like I did in the video leave it as so and just use that rhythm to solve the Rubik's Cube and two means twice and apostrophe means um, inverted and this says 20 moves and that's pretty much it okay guys something to, I forgot to add in the video I'm gonna add it right now is that um, we just do something random if you want to do it less than 20 moves say you have 20 moves you want to do it less than that you click this play button and keep clicking it until it, it gets shorter and shorter and eventually um, it's uh, uh, programs gonna say that it can't make it any shorter or it's gonna take a really long time for it to get shorter like right now and that means that that's pretty much as short as I can think of in that amount of seconds um, you don't need to click check optimal it, optimal it doesn't do anything really you can see the same thing like this and now it's 16 moves instead of 20 it's running it by 4 moves which means 4 less mistakes that you guys can make and to go over the 2 thing again uh, it's going to go after so this is going to be left inverted not down inverted so it's going to be left inverted down back down 2 times back down 2 times back down inverted right inverted down 2 times right inverted front inverted right inverted down front two times down two times and that's it so now you guys know pretty much everything you need and you can also change the colors um, by clicking the middle color and you can click customize select the color you can make it darker or lighter uh, depending on your Rubik's cube um, you can do it to that or you can just do it to your liking I think this is like a little bit too pale whoops after you cut it click OK and it should change um, like you can even make this like a black if you want instead of white yeah but don't recommend using black you can't see the lines maybe like a light gray like that and you guys can play around with that change to whatever you want and have fun solving your Rubik's Cube